Thank you, Mr. Motiwala, for your valuable thoughts. For our concluding keynote speaker for the day, we have Mr. Govil Rajpal, Lead Threat Prevention Security Engineer, India and SARC, and Mr. Satikam Jyoti Prakash, Harmony Security Lead, India and SARC, at Checkpoint Sec uh, Software Technologies, who will talk about uh, highest level of security for remote users. Over to you, Mr. Rajpal and Mr. Satikam. Thank you, Nisha. Satyakam, are you on stage now? Perfect. Yes, I am. So can, can, can you share the screen, please? Yeah. Um, Is it visible now? Yes. Thank you so much. Thanks everyone for joining us today. Uh, in this session, we will be discussing about uh, how to secure the remote workforce. Each one of us on this session right, is a remote workforce. We all have been working from last 15 months remotely. And in this last 15 months, we have seen the threat landscape has changed. So I will spend some time how threat landscape has changed right, around users. Right. Then we will set up the context. What is Harmony in Checkpoint product portfolio? And then from there, Satyakam will take over and Satyakam will briefly discuss about different solutions and how we have consolidated different solutions into a single platform. So to start with, how the threat landscape has changed. Complete 2020 and in fact, the first six months of 2021, we have seen major breaches every month, starting from January 2020 TravelX. They paid $2.3 million out of a ransomware breach. Then July, we saw one 17-year-old compromising Twitter. And then some key profiles were compromised uh, in, in case of Twitter with, within the social engineering attack. End of the year, solar wind saga with a supply chain attack. So we, when we consolidate and when we put perspective to all these breaches we have seen in last 15 months, 5.6 billion malware attacks we have seen were carried out in 2020 alone. Out of 5.6 billion threats, 304 million ransomware attacks have been carried out in 2020 alone. And this number is growing in 2021. And very interestingly, the delivery of ransomware entry point, initial access of these ransomware attack in 54% of the cases was via phishing email with the attachment. So again, Phishing was a problem 10 years back. Phishing is a problem today. And, and maybe in future, phishing will remain a problem for all of us. Then when, when it comes to the uh, cost related to these breaches, average cost related to a breach in 2020 was around $3.86 million. And another interesting uh, fact, which is time to identify and contain, which is dual time, combination of mean time to respond and mean time to identify is average 280 days. And this number in India is 313 days. So in an organization, if something wrong happens, they take around 313 days to identify whether, whether there is a breach or not. And then they take further time to contain that specific threat from the infrastructure. And top impacted interest industries in 2020 have been healthcare, right, education, retail, and a couple of other verticals we have seen have been top uh, impacted back in 2020. So other than other than this uh, specific uh, threat landscape, what I have discussed, major rise in ransomware attacks. So we've all heard in 2021 around uh, Colonial Pipeline, right, Dark Side Group, but it was not the only one group, right. Uh, compromising one specific organization, we have seen multiple such multiple such more uh, threats, attacks, compromising different organization when it comes to the ransomware. So this number has increased uh, uh, from Q1 2020 to Q2 2021 basis on the checkpoint research team. Uh, Satyakam, can you move forward? So these, these are some of the threats we have seen. These are some of the ransomware breaches we have seen in last six months. And one specifically, which I want to refer here, CNA, CAN insurance organization, why this is crucial because they have set, they have set the standard for entire industry. They have paid $40 million out of a ransomware breach in case in, in, this, in this 2021. So this number have increased over the years, 2019, this number was different. Satyakam, if you can go further. 
So 2019, this number was around $15 million. Then 2020, this number was around $30 million. And they have set record of $40 million out of a ransomware breach uh, in 2021. Now from here, right, why we have decided, why in Checkpoint we have decided to consolidate multiple products into a single platform, right? So in 2020, 2021, each one of us has become a new parameter, right? We are not behind parameter security. The only security right now we have available is, is our, our endpoints. Maybe these endpoints are our desktops, laptops, or mobile devices. So let me set the context, right? How many different type of users are there in any organization and what different types of devices we are using to access applications or data and where those applications are hosted and how we have mapped this entire platform to solve this problem which is around users and their devices so generally in any organization there are three set of users one set which is employee right employee like alice in this case they will have certain devices and they will access the applications from these devices to access the data then there may be a third party contractor, suppliers, they come to our infrastructure and then access the applications. And generally I categorize third type of category, which is security warriors, people like us defending threats day in, day out. Now, all these users are using some different sort of devices. For example, employees. Employees always will have minimum of these devices like managed endpoint, part of active directory, domain, managed by the organization. That's how I make use of this laptop to access the applications. Then I might have COD, corporate owned device with some sort of MDM installed and then I access applications. And third option could be BYOD, completely unmanaged device. I can make use of this device still to access maybe less critical application inside my infrastructure. And then when it comes to contractors, they will always have third party suppliers will always have unmanaged endpoints and BYOD devices, which means no active directory, no domain and no uh, uh, MAM or MDM installed and that's how they access the application. Now with all these devices and with all these users, what they are doing, right? What I am doing as a user, right? When I start my day. So Satyakam, can you go to the next slide, please? So using all these devices, right? I'm accessing data. Data is there behind applications. Where are those applications? Generally at four different places. Corporate network. Applications may be in corporate network. My private data center, that's where I go connect and access the applications. Applications or data can be in SaaS, for example, Office 365, best example. I have my emails here. I can go to SaaS application and access my, my email. Then applications may be on internet, so I can go to internet and access those applications. And there may be adoption of public cloud like AWS, GCP, Azure, and that's how I can access applications which are hosted in, in these public clouds via these devices. What we already have, right? But we already have to secure this communication from these devices to these different data centers. Right? VPN, traditional way, VPN to ensure the security of data in motion from these devices to corporate network. I specifically took example of Office 365, maybe security from Microsoft, E3, E5, ATP, or maybe third party solution to secure that email infrastructure. Then to secure internet, secure web gateway, some sort of proxy or a SSA solution wherein you can route all the traffic and then uh, provide the secure connectivity to the applications which are on internet. And then last piece, I have a developer environment. I don't want to publish everything on internet. I want to have secure connectivity from these devices to my public cloud, maybe via VPN. So that's how we are addressing these problems, right? These days, what we have done in checkpoint is we have tried to consolidate multiple things, multiple solutions and services into a single platform. For example, to secure endpoint, managed endpoint, Harmony endpoint is the solution. Combination of AV, NGAV, EDR and, and other technologies. To secure mobile devices, co component is technologies Harmony mobile to ensure the safety of these mobile devices from malicious application, from network based threats and from device and OS level vulnerabilities. Now to secure the SaaS applications, Harmony email and office ensure the security of Office 365 Suite, G Suite and many other applications. And then last piece, last piece is, which is very crucial connectivity from these devices to multiple data centers. That's where our SSA offering, which is the Harmony Connect comes in. So we take all this data coming from the devices, users to one single platform, filter it, right? Apply the right policies. And then this traffic leaves for the data centers, for the internet and for the SaaS applications. Why we have done this, right? In any organization, in any organization, customers are using 
multiple products like multiple products for endpoint for mobile for sase for secure web gateway for email security so which means you are managing multiple sync consoles multiple consoles to manage multiple different solution so what we have done is we have tried to do the consolidation and it is not just the consolidation of technologies in one single platform we have actually tried the the consolidation of price as well when we consolidate technology into a platform second more and more analytics uh, 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 skills right more and more analytics visualization and detection capabilities so rather than having uh, multiple consoles to manage your endpoint mobile email and sas infrastructure everything related to users will come to one single console and that one single console you will be able to get the more you will be able to get to see the security posture of the organization and then accelerated move to the cloud all these offerings are sas driven when i say sas driven few clicks service will be up and running and you can start consuming these these services be it endpoint mobile or or sase or uh, or email security with api level integrations so satya come now will brief you uh, uh, about harmony endpoint harmony mobile harmony connect harmony email and office and then we will consolidate everything into a single platform over to you satya thank you govind so uh, first let's talk about harmony endpoint you know it's it's a very significant uh, part of our overall solution for remote workforce and and checkpoint has this harmony endpoint solution which is now recognized by the mitre attack framework as one of the top solutions available in the market that's that's something which was proven by the matter ingenuity attack report that came out very recently and checkpoint scored uh, uh, in the top top 1 2 and 3 in three different parameters that matter uh, evaluated 29 plus uh, 20 about 29 vendors uh, endpoint vendors in it so what's special about checkpoints uh, endpoint strategy this is a this is a complete security solution uh, you know across next generation av uh, across edr and 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 it brings all the best of best technologies together into one endpoint solution which which is harmony endpoint now I, i don't want to go in detail into each of these features but maybe just uh, pick uh, one of the features uh, let's say let's say fake login pages the first one right now if you look at the way we uh, we approach the solutioning is that in case of a phishing attack if you have a fake url which you open and you are trying to enter your username id and password what the attacker is trying to do is take your username id and password and probably reuse it in the original web page and and steal your uh, you know whatever data but we don't allow you to even enter your username id and password into a fake web page we scan the web page till the time scanning is over the the um, the the box where you have to enter your email id and the password is is blocked and only after the verdict comes we allow you to uh, enter that if if the uh, page is legitimate otherwise we will not allow you to enter your username id and password that, that's a that's something very unique uh, to our approach you know similarly each of these points have a very unique approach to how we uh, do the endpoint security and that is why we were recognized by miter as one of the top 3 or top 2 vendors among the 29 vendors that miter evaluated at the uh, with their own assessment now next uh, talking about mobile security now uh, the along with the uh, endpoint security which was more on the laptops and desktops we also secure mobile devices now if you look at the applications all the applications that we uh, get, get from the play store or or the uh, ios uh, the, the apple store and all we we kind of assume that these applications are safe but but reality is lot of these applications have vulnerability and they can compromise your mobile uh, you know in various way bb turn on your camera take a screen capture or, or you know start a recording or filtrate your data from some other application via that application and so on right and and that's why you know we have a sort of a mechanism a behavioral uh, engine a real time analysis that we do on the applications to protect your applications then when it comes to the network connectivity of the mobile phone you know let's say take example of uh, a uh, man in the middle attack 
what basically happens that you connect to a public Wi-Fi and there's a person in between who's infiltrating your data while it is getting routed to the public Wi-Fi. Now that is called as man in the middle attack. We stop any kind of an attack which is, uh, which is uh, you know, having this kind of a behavior. And lastly, about OS level attack or the device level attack. We usually assume that, okay, you know, if we have invested on an Apple phone, it's more secure than an Android phone. Or, or uh, you know, there, there are the, these devices cannot be compromised because those are well proven and tested. As a matter of fact, you know, we see lot of vulnerabilities uh, you know both in the android and ios devices uh, in fact the qualcomm processor which is which is used in a uh, in the android devices you know and more than 50 percent of the android devices have that particular processor checkpoint identified that that qualcomm processor had vulnerability they informed qualcomm and they probably did uh, some corrections there but the fact is those those devices are already in the market so your mobile could be compromised with that particular vulnerability. Now, these are something that, that we, we have to think through in this current situation where, where more and more mobile devices are accessing our corporate data. You know, we, we probably have invested on mobile device management, but the fact is mobile device management is more about managing the device, right? It's not about uh, mobile threat prevention. It's not about mobile security. It's only about managing the device. Now, now there is a fundamentally two different approaches, and and uh, you know we we strongly encourage people to consider mobile threat prevention along with mobile device management when they are considering mobile security. Sorry, sir. In the interest of time, this is just a reminder to note that the timer has run out. So, if you could conclude the presentation. Uh, sure. Yeah, as soon as you can. So, uh, yeah, uh, the the third piece that we have is the Harmony email and office. And, and again, from, from a email security perspective, as Google mentioned, Office 365 G Suite, in this, in this email, uh, you know, we, we provide security. One of the features maybe I can talk about is identity protection. Now, any kind of an email security you'll, uh, you'll see, uh, you know, if it has access to Office 365, you can probably access Office 365 from, from any device. But with identity protection, your, your Office 365 access is tied up with your particular mobile phone, let's say your personal device. But you cannot access the email from, from a friend's device or a, from, from your spouse device or anybody. So that is what is identity protection, identifying that particular device and giving the protection access only from that particular device. And the last piece is the SASE piece that that uh, checkpoint has. So be it your corporate network, uh, you know, uh, let it be compromising your, your from, of your data center, your application hosted in the data center, even the pub public uh, cloud uh, infrastructure as service all comes under the corporate uh, uh, vector, or you go into the internet and the SaaS platform, and and you can access that from your own corporate devices your BYOD or unmanaged devices, uh, that is your personal devices, or you can work from your office environment. Irrespective of from where you are accessing what you are doing, your security posture needs to be consistent across whether you are, you are accessing your applications within your corporate network or a SaaS application or just generally browsing internet uh, even without a, a VPN connection to your device, right? So, so we have these technologies around clientless architecture. When you say clientless, without an agent, you can you can have a zero trust network access for especially for your unmanaged devices. Then we have threat prevention, the the sandboxing piece, the IPS, the phishing prevention, full SSL visibility in botnet. Everything uh, safeguard uh, safeguarding from everything is taken care with Harmony Connect and also from the access control piece that is your firewall, URL filtering, application control, everything is managed through uh, uh, through the Harmony Connect. One single solution giving you uncompromised security from any kind of a connection to, to uh, from any device to any of your corporate internet or SaaS applications. So to summarize, uh, Checkpoint Harmony is, is a is a 
solution designed for remote workforce, designed for this current pandemic situation, where we provide you security, not only from an access point of view, from a user's point of view, from a device's point of view. So endpoint security, SASE, uh, clientless zero trust access, email security, mobile security, as well as a browser level security. So all these features and functionalities we have for you to have secure uh, uh, you know, experience, be it from working from home, on the go, or from office, and be it you connected to your on-premise applications, uh, internet, or, or any of the SaaS applications. So that's, that's in a nutshell about Checkpoint Harmony. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Rajpal and Mr. Satika. Uh, and thank you once again to all of our keynote speakers. Uh,